Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and had a lovely week and welcome to another Great British Pub Quiz. If it is your first time here, really easy game to play. There are five rounds in the style of a pub quiz and I'll explain all the rules of the rounds to you before they begin. So let's have a look at the five rounds we'll be playing this week. Round one is a picture round. Round two is called Share the Same Name. Round three is Entertainment. Round four is a pictogram round. And the final round is General Knowledge. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. And as always, I hope you enjoy and good luck. Round one is the picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. And you have around 15 seconds for each. Number one, who's this a picture of from when they were young? Number two, name the singer. Number three, name the retired sports star. Number four, name the dessert. Number five, which company has this logo? And number six, name the game show, close up picture. Number seven, name the building. Number eight, name the fitness coach. Number nine, name the inventor. And the last one, can you name this game? That's my children playing it last Sunday. Okay, round two is called Share the Same Name. It's a very easy round to play. The way that it works, you're gonna see two questions on your screen and they both have the same answer. They're just different things. So I'll give you an example. Say the one on the left said the most uh, valuable company in the world and the one on the right said um, Pink Lady and Granny Smith varieties of which fruits. The answer would be apple. So the answer will be exactly the same to two different questions. And one more thing. Unlike the other rounds in this quiz, not all of these questions are you only UK based. The majority are, but there are a few that are not. So bear that in mind. Anyway, good luck and I hope you enjoy.
So that's the end of the first two rounds. I will now go through the answers and round three and four will start immediately after. The answers for round one. Number one, that is a young Piers Morgan. Number two, the singer. Paloma Faith. Number three, the retired sports star. Jessica Ennis Hill. Number four, the dessert is Eaton Mess. Number five, the logo is for Dunlop. Now, number six, the close up of the game show. I love this show as well, really good. It's the 1% Club. Number seven, the building is the Shard. Number eight, the fitness coach is Mr. Motivator. Number nine, the inventor, James Dyson. And number 10, the last one, the game, played by my kids last Sunday, is Boostix. So the answers to round two, number one, a town in West Yorkshire, and the name of a bank is Halifax. Number two, nickname of a former footballer, and a game show that features balls labelled split or steal, Golden Balls. And what a terrible, terrible show that is. Uh, the worst of human nature. Number three, actor who played Captain America in the Marvel uh, films and host of a breakfast show, Chris Evans. Number four, a borough of New York and a racket sports club located in West Kensington, Queens. Number five, a flower and pl uh, plant and a Disney princess is Jasmine. Number six, a African country and the small circle of paper that falls on the floor after you use a hole punch. Chad, really well done if you got that one. Not an easy one. Number seven, a 1970s sitcom and something you might eat for breakfast. Porridge. Number eight, a model of car by the car company Toyota and all of the petals of a flower as a group, Corolla. Again, with that one, very well done if you got that one. Number nine, a type of tree and a part of the human body. You'll kick yourself if you didn't get it. Palm. And the last one, number 10, that surname of a 20th century UK Prime Minister and a sports equipment manufacturer based in Chicago is Wilson. So well done if you got most of those. Round three is the entertainment round. There are 15 questions in this round. Number one, Pete Best was the original drummer of which band? Number two, the field rating U is usually shown with the letter U inside a triangle of what color? Number three, my life is brilliant, my love is pure. I saw an angel, of that I'm sure. She smiled me on the subway. At the opening lyrics to which song? Number four, Adrian O'Hanlon, Ralph Little and Ben Miller have all played detectives on what TV show? Number five, name the kids' TV show. Number six, with a one word title, what is the only UK number one by Spandau Ballet? Number seven, the musical six is about which six people? Number eight, 
number eight, which former singer played the lead role in the TV show Secret Diary of a Cool Girl? Number nine, to me, to you, was a famous catchphrase for which duo? Number 10, Channel 5 was launched in which year? 1997 or 2002? So uh, questions 11 to 15 is name the TV shows. You're going to see five pictures uh, from TV shows. All you have to do is name them. Round four is the pictogram round. For those of you who haven't played before, really easy to do so. It's a lot like the uh, TV show catchphrase. So you'll see an image on the screen that I've created and you just have to guess what it is I'm asking for. It will tell you at the bottom whether it's a, uh, uh, an actor, a song, a saying or phrase, something along those lines. Uh, I'll just give you a quick example. So if this came up on your screen, you can see at the bottom, I'm looking for the name of a band. And from the picture, hopefully you would have come up with One Direction. So there are five in total to do just like that. Best of luck. The answers for the entertainment round number one, Pete Best was the original drummer for The Beatles. And number two, the film rating U is usually shown with the letter U inside a triangle that is green. Number three is the opening lyrics to You're Beautiful. 
Number four, Adrian O'Hanlon, Ralph Little and Ben Miller have all played detectives in the TV show Death in Paradise. Number four, the kids TV show Hey Dougie. Number six, with a one word title, what is the only number one by Spandau Ballet? It's true. It is true. Number seven, the musical Six is about which six people? It's about the wives of Henry VIII. Number eight, which former singer played the lead role in the TV show Secret Diary of a Cool Girl? Billy Piper. Number nine, to me, to you was a famous catchphrase for which duo? Chuckle Brothers. Number 10, at Channel 5 was launched in which year? 97 or 2002, it was 97. Now the TV shows, the images of the TV shows. So, number 11, Keeping Up Appearances. Number 12, Bodyguard. 13, Gogglebox. 14, Blind Date. 15, Very, Very Well Done If You Said Nightmare. The answers for the pictogram round. Number one, the song is Cotton Eye Joe. Number two, the saying or phrase. A penny for your thoughts. Number three, the football stadium. You may have just figured this out. It's Ewood Park. Number four, the TV show. Blue Peter. And number five, the former politician is Jack Straw. That's the end of round four. I do hope you're enjoying it so far. And let me know in the comments whether you've got number 15, uh, Nightmare. It was one of my favourite shows when I was a kid. Uh, that and Funhouse, yeah. Always home from school on time for those two. It will now go into the final round. The answers will follow immediately after. Then you can tally up your scores and see where you finish in the school chart. So round five, the final round is general knowledge. And there are 15 questions in total. Number one, in the standard UK version of Monopoly, what is the only property which is located south of the River Thames? Trafalgar Square, Old Kent Road or Bond Street? Number two. How many operating terminals does London Heathrow have? Number three, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what was Charlie's surname? Number four, what is the toad in the dish, toad in the hole? Number five, how many Olympic gold medals has Mo Farah won? Number six, what London, London landmark inspired the name for HP Source? Number seven, the Silver City and the Granite City are nicknames for which Scottish city? Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Edinburgh or Glasgow? Number eight, street artist Banksy is originally associated with which British city? Number nine, collectively, how are Brilliant Bubbles, Bonnie, Boofles, Big Heart and Bumper better known? Number 10, 
Number 10. Which of the following use a machine called Ernie to pick their winning numbers? The National Lottery, the Postcode Lottery, or the Premium Bonds? Now, question 11. This is worth up to five points. Name the five most common first names for boys in 2023. Now, they begin with an L, an M, an N, an O, and a T. And you have 30 seconds. So the answers for round five, number one, in a standard UK version of Monopoly, the only property south of the river is Old Kent Road. Number two, how many operating terminals does London Heathrow Airport have? It has four. Number three, in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, what was Charlie's surname? It was Bucket. Number four, what is the toad in the dish, toad in the hole? It is sausage. Number five, how many Olympic gold medals has Mo Farah won? He's won four. And number six, what London landmark inspired the name for HP Source? That was the Houses of Parliament. Number seven, the Silver City and the Granite City, and nicknames for Aberdeen. Number eight, street artist Banksy is originally associated with the city of Bristol. And number nine, collectively, how are brilliant Bubbles, Bonnie, Boofles, Big Heart and Bump are better known? Very well done if you said Jelly Babies. Who knew they had names? And number ten, which of the following user machine called Ernie to pick their winning numbers is the Premium Bonds. Now, number 11, the five most com common first names for boys in 2023. When it gets there, there we go. So number one, Mohammed, Noah, Theo, Leo and Oliver. Uh, tricky question, so well done if you got most of those. So tally up your scores and see which category you fall into. Uh, let me know in the comments which one of the quizzes that you are. So that's the end of the quiz. A really big thank you for playing. I do hope you had fun. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please, please click the like button. I know I always ask, but it makes a huge difference to how the videos are promoted. Uh, just one more thing as well. The pictogram rounds that I do in this UK quiz, I only ever do it as five questions. Let me know in the comments whether you'd like it to be 10. Or I could do another round of an additional five. So I was thinking maybe like a news of the week round. Um, yeah, something like that. So let me know in the comments what you think. So anyway, thank you again for playing. Enjoy your weekends and see you next week.